Welcome. In this video, I will show an Excel template that you can download from inzara.com for free and create animated bubble charts or animated scatter plots like the one that you are seeing on screen. And I will talk about the different features of this template, how you can use it to do different kinds of analysis. Now let's get started. So let's start with the start sheet. I have given the simple instructions on how you can use this um, template. So basically we have to enter the raw data for three variables. Uh, remember that the, mo the bubble chart is for analyzing relationship between three different quantitative variables. And I will link to the videos where I talk about what is a bubble chart and what type of analysis that you can do. And I've also done a video on what type of uh, analysis that you could do with motion charts. Um, so please check them out if you haven't yet. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna keep it focused on how to use this template. So there will be x-axis, y-axis, variable, and then the size of the bubble. These are the three different um, quantitative variable data. So you can rename it. By default, I have given this example, but if you want to rename the variables, you can do them here. And then you would go and enter the data in the X, Y, and size sheet. So we're gonna go to the X sheet, and you will see that I have by country, and then the years are in the first row from 1961 all the way. The template is set up to handle 59 years of data. So in this case, for example, I have entered uh, for the specific country, what was the X variable in 1961, 1962, and so on. So you, you can, if you have this data already, copy paste them here. Uh, make sure that when you paste them, don't paste them as, um, uh, let me show you. So when you do any kind of copying from your own source and come back here to paste it, make sure you do paste values. So it's absolutely essential. Don't change it, please, um, to just a regular paste. Always paste them as values. Now, once you have done entry of data in X sheet, Y sheet, and then the size. So those are the three variables. You wanna keep the country names um, the same, and then you wanna just, you know, the years should be the same. Uh, don't change the years. And then you enter the actual values of those variables. So that's the first step, entering the raw data for the three variables of your um, data set. Next, we can go to the series data sheet, which is where we can control actually what is being plotted on the chart. So the raw data you may enter for all the countries. So in this case, I've entered for all the countries, but when it comes to the uh, chart, actual chart, if I want to only analyze countries from North America, then I don't need to delete the data from the raw data sheet. That'll be a little bit messy because we want this to be a very good tool for exploring the data. So you can just control what countries you want to analyze by typing in the country name here. Make sure that the country name that you're typing in here matches the country names you already have in the other three sheets. For example, I have done by default, there are six series that you can enter. I've done, I've entered each continent as a separate uh, series. So you can see Africa, North America, Asia. And if I want to add one more country to Oceania, I can do that here. If I want to rename Oceania to Australia, for example, I can rename them here. But basically you're organizing or grouping your, in this case, countries into different series. And I'll show you how this actually impacts in the chart. When I go to the chart sheet, you can now start seeing that there are six colors and six continents basically, and they're nothing but six different series. So the series that we entered here is what is being reflected here. Uh, later in this video, I'll show you how you can actually modify the series data. But before I do that, I want to just demo um, the functionality that is on the chart sheet itself. So let me zoom back out. You can see this is our chart. Let me start with on the top. This is, there are three buttons. These three buttons are controlled with three macros. So when you are when you have downloaded the template, make sure that you enable macros. If you get a message saying, and do you want to enable macros, please say yes. There are three simple macros to animate this chart, to pause the chart, and also to reset it back to the starting point. So when I hit animate, you'll start seeing that this chart now starts moving. And this is the purpose of that macro. 
it basically changes the year and then the data gets updated according to the year the year will be displayed here uh, as you can see and if i want to pass this animation i will pass it and when i clicked on it it stopped at 1976 and then when i hit animate again it will go from 76 and continue the moment if at any point i want to reset to the starting point i can do this and it'll go back to the 1961 which was the starting year now there are more controls so you can do the animation speed control so for example i have with the maximum speed so you can see that i've, I've set it up to a low speed and if you use this the scroll bar you can actually make it really slow and this is helpful if you have you know fewer years and you want to just slow it down and just show the changes step by step that can be in, that can be used so that's why i've given the control to control the animation speed so let me pause it again and i can increase the speed here okay so that's the speed there is also a bar at the bottom here so let me reset it you will see that there is a, a bar at the bottom okay so if i want to go only one year at a time i can do 65 66 this is effective if you want to do you know maybe stop it one year at a time and then explain what's going on with the data then you can use this approach if you want to just animate the whole thing then you do animate okay then you have this additional option to say do i want to animate it one year at a time or do i want to do it two years at a time so let me go back and reset and change this to two years at a time so you should now start seeing 1961 63 65 67 so this is if i want to maybe i can do five years at a time okay so now when i animate you will start seeing that it's doing 66 71 76 81 and so on so this is if you want to not show every single year but five years at a time this is an effective method i'll show some of these label options so obviously the label op later also but the label options here you know you can see that it's not very useful when you do this so i will talk about it when we have fewer bubbles then the data labels are very effective when you have all a lot of the bubbles then the data labels don't really uh, help you can also do a bubble size equal um, then it basically becomes a scatter plot when you do that and when i do this you will start seeing that it becomes equal size bubbles the population doesn't really matter in this case and all the bubbles will be the same size this can be used to convert it into a scatter plot when you only have two variables and not three so when you only have the x-axis and the y-axis and you don't care about the size of the bubble then you can convert that so this is a very simple single click convert from a scatter plot to bubble chart or vice versa okay now the number of years maximum is set to 59 years um, but if you have fewer years in your data then you can update this to a lower number and then you have the legend one here one here i've done both because whenever i was taking screenshots i you know sometimes i want to do a horizontal one sometimes i want to do a vertical screenshot and i always want to make sure that the legend is visible when we take a screenshot and that's why i've done legend both ways so those are all the different features or the you know uh, functionality within the animated charts now if you want to modify some of the things like colors and so so right click and do format data series and now you can actually start seeing um, this side panel where you can go in and say okay this is my first series and if in case you change the name of the series your name will appear whatever name you chose will appear here you can go in and do solid fill and then change the color you want so you can go and freely modify the colors of each of the six series when you if you change it please make sure that the legend also gets updated because the legend doesn't change color automatically. If you change the color of the series, the legend has to be manually changed. Okay, now a couple more things. When you go to format data series, you can control the bubble size and you, for example, it's set to 50 now, but if you want to make the bubbles larger, um, you could go and change the series. So now you saw that it's changing the bubble series. So please note that those options are there and uh, you want to make sure that you are um, modifying it and 
according to your needs of the size of the bubble which will depend on what data you're looking at um, because this is very depending dependent on the values in your data set okay so now we have talked about these features now let's talk about how you can modify the data to do different kinds of analysis so if i have um, so I'll start with this where we have six different series and you can have up to six and each will be in a different color, right? So that is the first example. The second example I want to do is what if I want to do all the bubbles in the same? So for example, if I didn't mean to delete it, so I can just choose these and I'm hitting the delete key to just delete them all. And now there is no data in those, right? And I can go ahead and remove the labels. So as soon as I remove the header, I, I'm just clicking on it and hitting the delete key. When I do that, what happens is now when I go to the chart, you will see that the legend will only show for one. Now I can see that there's only one color and there's only one set of data. So this is how you can switch from a multi-series scatter plot or a bubble chart to a single series so i only have one series and i want to do this so let's say for example i want to show how one country within africa is different let's say and i'm just going to pick the first one algeria and i will change this to okay so let's say i do something like this Okay, so in 1961, you can see that um, Algeria is over there. So when I animate it, now you can start seeing every five years how that specific bubble Algeria has changed compared to the rest of Africa. So this is something that you can do easily by just updating the data. If I go back here, by just setting it up like this, where set one series is only one country, one series is a lot of countries. So let's take this example further and I will say if I want to compare two countries. So I think I remember I saw Chad. So I can have two countries. I'm just randomly picking these. Uh, okay, they are far apart. Um, okay, so now in 1961, you can see Algeria is over here. And then the uh, chad is the yellow one, right? So this is one where I would recommend adding the data labels on. So as I promised earlier, I'll show how you can control the data labels. So if I do something like this, and now you can see that I have the country, I have the x-axis value, y-axis, and then the size. So basically the fertility rate of chad was like 6.29. The life expectancy was 45.4, and then the um, the population was 3.1 million and you can see the numbers for Algeria over here. Before I animate this, I want to just tell you how you can modify the data label. So you can right click on it, do format data labels. And now you will see, do you want the label of this Algeria series to be above or below? Okay, so I will leave this at below because it's still telling me what it is and if i don't want the population to be displayed i just uncheck the box and then they will disappear and then similarly if i um, don't want the life expectancy to be displayed then i can toggle this also mm -hmm. so now it only shows the um, fertility rate and now when i animate it now i can actually see how these values change at the same time i can see which you know you can see that algeria has taken up um you know very different direction than chad um, so far and i'm doing it every five years so it's going faster but you can get the message that you can compare two bubbles at a time and in this case when you're comparing them you can turn the data label on because there's only two and you're not going to make the visual very busy uh, which you should not do that when you have a lot of bubbles now for the last part a uh, tip I would give is to change the top and the minimum and the maximum bounds. So when you right click on this, you will see that there is a minimum and the maximum. I have set it to be 30 and 90 because I'm dealing with life expectancy data. But in your case, if you're dealing with some other data where you want to set something different, please come and change it here. I strongly recommend that we fix them 
whenever we do the animated because you don't want the scale to be changing when the animation is happening. Same thing applies to the x-axis. If I click on the x-axis, you will see that I've set a minimum of zero and a maximum of eight for the number of children per family. But if in your data it's something different, please change them over here. So that is all I had to say. And in this video, we talked about the features or the functionality of this template and also how you can enter your raw data into the three raw data sheets. And then you can control the type of analysis that you do by using the series data. Up to six series of data, multi-series can be used. And also we talked about some of the formatting changes that you can do to make this chart fit your business needs or fit your needs for analysis. I hope this template is useful. Please visit inzara.com to download this template for free and I will put a link to the video description. And I hope that you find this useful. Please share your feedback. Thank you very much for watching.